Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and this is a video for the new Boston. Now, in this short series, I'm going to be talking, or this short tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the include and require um, inside PHP. Now, you may visit websites and think, you know, how do they get the design or the template exactly the same every for every page? And the answer is that there's a preset template. Uh, not necessarily including um, using include or require. Um, it will be using most likely, but it will be using some kind of um, way to include this. Now you'll note that I've got two um, files open. I've got my index.php and I've got header.inc.php. Um, now header.inc.php has um, a header one um, on with my page. So if we preview this in our browser it looks like this now what happens if I want to create multiple pages with the same header in now let's just go and create another file and I'm gonna call this um, I'm gonna save this here in include require and I'm gonna call this um, let's just say um, another page dot php okay so i've got all in all uh, three pa three pages i've got index.php another page.php and header.inc.php now we're going to later on in the tutorial discuss um, using php inside this file but for now i'm going to say this is my template now if i want to write let's say echo um, just going to create a variable here called um, string and I want to echo my variable okay so on the index page this is basically going to echo string uh, and on here I want to echo var and, um, and echo var so on my index page I'm echoing string on my another page I'm echoing 10 now what happens if I want to include the same header for both of these files I want to have this my page header on both of these files I can use either the include or the require function now for this purpose I'm going to be using include and I'll tell you why just later so we do include and we we create sort of like two um, either semicolons uh, sorry either two um, single quotation marks or double quotation marks you can also wrap this um, in brackets but I just tend to prefer to use this uh, method and I'm just going to simply say header.inc.php if it was a directory um, before I'd do that if it was in a, another fo another folder I would do that so um, uh, wherever your file is in this case it's in the same location as these two pages in the same directory so now what I've done is if I go back to index page I've actually included this file in the top of my um, my page just by using this keyword include and including the file I can do that in another page as well so include header .php. and you can start to already see how useful this is because now when I go over to another page .php, the header is exactly the same. Now the reason we do this um, in general when we're creating a website, let's just say um, it's no longer called my page anymore. Um, it's called um, Alex's page. Now beforehand I would have had to go to index.php, change the header, let's just say the header was up here. I would have had to change this then I would have had to go over to another page and change the header there but I've only had to change it once and therefore because we've included it it's updated on index.php and it's also updated on another page.php so we've created what's called a template system where we've included our header we can also include like a footer and then a main body if you wanted or a menu it, it's limitless you can use as many includes as you want on one page now we may want to create a page where we store variables now let's just get rid of this and let's just get rid of this now 
I want to echo out var1 on this page and var2 on this page okay I'm not actually going to set var1 on this page or var2 on this page I'm actually going to set it inside the header so I open up my PHP tags in here and I type var1 equals string and var2 equals 10. You'll notice how the colors are changing this but just just because of the nature of my um, text editor but this is valid PHP code. So now I've declared these up here. Uh, let's just comment these out for now and you can see what happens when we refresh another page. Nothing's displayed and when we come back to index.php uh, nothing's displayed. Now let's uncomment these and refresh you can see string on that one and you can see uh, on another page we set, we have 10 so we're back to original however we've declared these variables we've, we've assigned values to these variables in our header page which we've then included now let's say we want to only run this the rest of this page if um, this file exists. We want to check if this file exists. We want to kill the page if we can't find this header file because if we're echoing out variable 1 on this page and variable 2 on this page without this header file it's useless because we haven't declared our variables. So for this we simply use require rather than include and you'll not notice any change to it whatsoever. Let's just refresh. It does exactly the same thing. And if we go back to index.php, it does exactly the same thing. However, let's change this back to include. And this changes this back to include. And let's say we specify a file here that doesn't exist. So non or doesn't exist.php and let's just copy and paste this into here. So doesn't exist.php doesn't exist. Okay? So if we refresh, we get an error. Okay? Whereas here we're echoing out um, a variable. And we can display this by saying var2 is something. And then we here we can say var1 is that. So if we refresh, we're still echoing out var1 is, but we're missing the variable because this page doesn't exist. However, um, if we were to um, choose require, okay, and we refresh, watch what happens to this it disappears because we've retrieved a fatal error and the fundamental difference between require and include is that require just handles the uh, errors differently so if we can't find the file and we've required it it kills the rest of the page we, we just kill the page off so nothing else after this line here is executed it, it, it kills it off therefore the, well, the reason this is important is because if we needed variables and we need this variable in this case to display this whole sentence properly, we require header.inc.php and on here we require header.inc.php. Now, um, because we've required it and it does exist, everything works out fine. So it's just a way with the require to ensure that uh, your, you know, you might be inc including a core file that has a list of variables that you need to use without your program. And because require and include are useful in the fact that you can include a long file with lots of variables that you need to use on maybe lots of different pages, require ensures that these variable, this file does exist therefore the files are required include is more for design based uh, choices so for example you might want to include a menu your website doesn't necessarily have to run without a, with a menu um, you don't want to kill the rest of the page if you maybe don't have the menu file available so you just need to make a logical choice whether you use include or require but for now that's both them inside PHP